This week, paranoia struck the Big Brother house. I don't believe anybody anymore. Why does he need to know everything about me? If she is what I think, she, I think, and I don't even know what I think. That's the first time I ever said that. Then housemates were pushed to their limits. I hate you. This ain't gonna go well, is it? Tonight, two housemates face eviction. Dexter. I'm obviously quite hated within the house. And Jemima. I'm not gonna hold back anymore. Who goes? You decide. to Big Brother and the second live eviction! <laughs> oh, so, Wimbledon is well underway, but have we got our very own Grand Slam for you this evening. <laughs> Grab your strawberries and cream, give the ball boy the night off and settle down for a battle worthy of centre court. Oh, yes. This week, the housemates nominated for the very first time. Dexter, Gina and Jemima were all up for the chop and you at home have been voting to evict since Monday night. However, after receiving the fewest votes so far, Gina was saved from eviction during Wednesday night's show. So tonight, it's going to be game, set and match for either Dexter or Jemima. Who goes? You decide. Remember, you are voting to evict. To evict Dexter from a landline, call 090-2050-5805. Or from a mobile, 650-5805. To evict Jemima from a landline, call 090-2050-5810. Or from a mobile, 650-5810. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes later in the show. Votes cast after the lines close won't count. Please do not try to vote if you're watching Channel 5 Plus One or On Demand. And for full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash BB Vote. So, after Michael, the people's puppet shop departure last Friday, paranoia and suspicion have continued to rumble through that house. Is Wolfie the new actor? No. no. Does Dexter have a secret twin? And will Detective Dan ever give up on his investigations? It's fair to say that the secrets and lies this year are really twisting their melons, man. Shall we remind ourselves of this week's juicy stories? This week, the housemates nominated for the very first time. Mm. This is Big Brother. Nominations will begin in half an hour. Uh, half an hour? Oh. What? Today? I think everybody's on tender hooks today with nominations, yeah. I think Jamal must be cooked. These three housemates will face the public vote. Dexter, Gina, Jemima. Oh, to pack again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually made effort with these strangers. Eight people. Who do you think you are? Like, seriously. And the house was rocked when Big Brother sent four housemates to jail. It is clearly stated in the Big Brother rules that discussion of nominations is not permitted. However, at 10.21 this morning, Hazel and Joe discussed whether anyone would nominate Hazel. At 11.45, Hazel and Jackie discussed who Dexter might nominate. And at 1.26, Jemima questioned Sam about his nominations. Tonight, you will be separated from the rest of your housemates and spend the night in jail. All right, you've already been in prison two seconds to convert to lesbianism. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Prison changes, people! Then an emergency struck the Big Brother house. Oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, my God. 
much. Bloody hell. Housemates, your gas masks have protected you from the virus. <laughs> Unfortunately, the other housemates have all been infected. Oh. Big Brother has been able to create an antidote to the virus. I've got to fill the bits in this one. <laughs> Harry. I hate you. This is a piss take. I've just had my head shaved off. Go oh. on, guys. Just... Oh, oh. Don't you dare drop the ice cream. Oh. Hazel, I oh. swear to God, stop making those noises. I'm getting in the face every two seconds. Please don't say get in the face. Housemates are now free to leave quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the housemates nominated for eviction was saved by you. Housemate with the least amount of votes and will therefore no longer face eviction on Friday is Gina. So much drama for week two. So tonight it's Dexter versus Jemima. One of them is out of there. Who goes is entirely down to you. Can't stand the self proclaimed sugar daddy. Or are you already over the house's gold-digging diva? Tweet us and have your say. Send us your messages to at BBUK. Get it all off your chest. We want to know who you think should go and why. We might even read out your tweets. Wouldn't that be lovely? Yes, it would. Uh, right, let's take a look at what happened yesterday. And housemates are encouraging Sam to cash in on his relationship with Jemima. Hmm, Jemima. <laughs> Dear 15, 12 or 1 p.m., Sophie is plaiting Jemima's hair. Do you like my hair, then, Soph? Eh? Hey? Do you like my hair? Yeah. It's nice, really nice straight. Is that the yeah, first time you straightened it? First time in it. It takes too long to straighten, I can't be asked. Hmm. Hmm. Gina has been doing her makeup for the past 24 minutes. Shit, I made it worse. <laughs> what a joke, Gina. What a joke you are. Dearly has a question for Sam. Some, if someone offered you, like, ten grand... ...to say for a big spread of you and Jemima, would you do it? Yeah! Ten grand, though. Yeah, ten grand. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it won't be how much, it'll be a grand. But you, you, you know you're never, you never would, innit? Yeah. Yeah. He's, um, yeah, he's, he's Just get the money in your bank. <laughs> I feel stupidly uncomfortable. Really on. It's only banter anyway. Everyone knows you don't like him. Everyone knows you don't like him. Stares at me in random places, like... I look at him and stares. Honestly, though, mate, if they do, do it. Yeah, you could you, you could make like four grand in a week. Huh? If you get booted together the same sort of time, just just go for it. Do you really give a fuck what people think of you in the magazines and newspapers? Just go for it, mate. You clean up, honestly, because as a couples, couples always always clean up because people want to read about them ups and downs and highs and lows. No, it's money. In it. One twelve pm Oh, four. Are you fucking full of carrots in my washing up? <laughs> where, where do you want me to put it on my head? No, just put rinse it out first and just... Yeah, well, you Yeah, we'll do... try to do all the cups and oh stuff and God. then I've got to do it. You shouldn't be Don't so... mock my washing up. I know my techniques. You shouldn't be so set in your ways at your age. Huh? You shouldn't be so set in your ways at your age. Shut up. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you very much. That's not the way to talk to a lady. Talk to anyone whatever way I want. <laughs> That's not the attitude to have. I love the attitude. I've always had a attitude since I was a kid. I'm not going to change now. Exactly. That's what I say as well. Dexter has a revelation for Hazel and Dan. Yeah, like, there's a male webcam model in sight. 
and no, you didn't. That's a lie. No, no, I did. Hold on, yeah. And you were a male model. No, I wasn't a male model. I just used to sit and chat to like German Ma German geezers and stuff. Did you? Mm. Like dressed in stockings and all that business. What you'd be dressed in stockings, or they would? No, I would. Yeah. You would. Yeah. That's a lie. Shut I'm not. Oh. You dress in stockings? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just to do, 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 do like full routines and stuff. Did you have a wank? I made, I made like $2,000 in one night. Would you like... Have yeah, a yeah. Would you? Yeah. What, in front so people could see you? No, in private rooms and that. To... Are you bisexual? No, but... I'm yeah, just, you are. I'm just not asked. Have you had, like, gay encounters? I haven't had gay encounters, no, but I'm, I'm just not asked. I'm happy with who I am, so... What I'm... are you? No, I'm straight. What oh. would... Would you? I don't know. If Ryan Gosling walks in, then maybe I might be turned. But <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm <laughs> really confused. So... Is it, it was it like a low oh. point in my gambling life. So you gambled and cross-dressed? Yeah. <laughs> right. The question we're all asking, but everyone's putting it off, is... Can you get it up over men? Because if you can, you're bisexual. Sorry, that's the way it is. This is what we're getting at. I've never tried to get it up over men, to be honest. I know, Have you ever I been admit, sexually aroused by a man? This is what we're all asking. No, I haven't, but I admit right. I, that I'm camp, and I admit that I have done a little bit of cross-dressing in my life. Yeah. For, you know, well, monetary gain or that, entertainment purposes. And when I was younger, I did want to be a drag queen, but apart from that... Did you? I'm, yeah, I'm fairly straight. Dex is, um, I like having him around. He's quirky and he's, he's right annoying. To to you, yeah, he comes yeah. out with some really strange sexual things that kind of. Mm, he's a little quirky, isn't he? Make something me I'd run around. You know, I'd, nothing wrong with quirkiness, but he's kind of <laughs> on I'd, a I'd, dirty I'd have... level, you know. Yeah. You missed um, Dexter's revelation outside. What's that? He used to perform for men on a web camera with stockings on and... Who? No. Who oh, did? Dexter. Dexter yeah. Who did he? He just told us, yeah. He Jesus. just did what? He does what? Um, like, you know, women on web chat cameras. Do used what? To he used to put stockings on? For men and... Dogs. No! For, for and, money? And... and <laughs> put on a show? Really? Put a a show. show, show. <gasps> nice. No. Jesus. Oh, you seriously? <laughs> And do the full business. Yeah. Good old so Dex. who did he tell? It never fails, it never oh, fails to surprise me. Who's got stockings in here? He can like me. put them on. Me. I've got like so, Yeah. I have. I've I got a fishnet it. one. I need to see it. Yeah, Dexter's coming in. Dexter's coming. In. Yes. Just clap. Just clap. Just clap. Good work. What's everyone clapping? We just heard your little story. Oh. Dexter. Okay. <laughs> Take a seat, son. Take a <laughs> seat. And tell the story. No, I'm not telling it again. It was one, one, one time only offer. Aww. I honestly don't think I'm ever going to be able to look at Dexter in the same way ever again. Or, for that matter, my stockings. So, it's time to make your choice. Who should leave the house and wave goodbye to a summer of lentils and chickpeas? And who gets your pulses racing? Dexter or Jemima? Who goes? You decide. Remember, you are voting to evict. To evict Dexter from a landline call 090 2050 5805. Or from a mobile 650 5805. To evict Jemima from a landline call 090 2050 5810. Or from a mobile 650 5810. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes later in the show. Please do not try to vote if you're watching Channel 5 Plus 1 or On Demand. And for full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash BB vote. Still to come, we've got loads more from the house and someone's going to be slinging their rook. We'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> and we boo out another housemate. Will it be Dexter the Snake or Jemima the Cougar? Ooh. There's only room for one of them in the Big Brother jungle. Who goes is up to you, but we're giving them the opportunity to give a parting message to their housemates right now. Let's go over live to the house. They're going to play it again. This is Big Brother. 
Dexter and Jemima. Shortly, one of you will be evicted. But before you leave, Big Brother has now given you both the opportunity to give a final message to your fellow housemates. You will each have 15 seconds to deliver this message. Dexter, can you stand up and give your final message? I'd just like to thank you all for inviting me into this lovely family and the true feelings of friendship outweigh the feelings of hate. Thank you very much for pointing out my bad points and I will take them on my journey in life. And I've walked in a boy, I'm going to walk out a man. Thank you very much. We love you. Jemima, can you stand up and give your final message? I'm sorry if I've offended anybody in the house with my ways, my views, my opinions, but I've come in and been myself from the start, and if I stay tonight, I will help to change people's perspective on me, because, you know, I, I am what I am, but if people have been offended, I'm sorry. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Thank you, housemates. That was a nice fall. <laughs> you can hear them, the crowd chatting. Yeah, you can hear them outside. They didn't do that last week, did they? You certainly can hear them. They're a raucous bunch this evening. Uh, right, it's back to yesterday's action in the house, and there is no better way to pass the time than a good old-fashioned game. <laughs> Three twenty eight p.m. I must be more than an idiot then, Jack. Yeah, clearly. Is your hair very flat today? Be quiet. <laughs> Big Brother is chatting about nothing to Jack and Joe to create a diversion for today's secret task. Housemate. Oh, no. Oh. Big, Big Brother was, would like you to take part in a secret task. Twins, Jack and Joe, have been called to the diary room for a chat. What they don't know is that Big Brother wants the rest of the housemates to hide from them without being busted. The task will begin soon as they leave the diary room. From then on, the storeroom will remain unlocked. Housemates must hide in alphabetical order, so Callum, you have to go first. And then if we win, if we win, we get treats. And how are people getting on in the house? Today, everyone's getting along really, really well. Give it two or three days and we'll be complacent with the company and the food probably again. But at the moment, everyone's getting on so well. Yeah, it's like me. I mean, the only, the only the thing night. that could ruin it is if you've got to throw a spanner in the works, which you're very good but at. But again, like, I think we all sort of want a task, so if you want to throw us a task later... And you want to chuck us in one, we'll, we'll be, be much obliged. We'll take one of them. Okay, let's yeah? Yeah, because they're going to come out to him. I'm after Hazel. Yeah, and I'm after you. Yeah, so oh, before oh, you go yeah. in, yeah. before you go in, come and say to me about the dinner. Oh my god, it smells powerful! Get in my belly! It smells beautiful! No, no, we'll do this. We'll crack it. We'll crack it. So we all eat outside? So we all eat outside? Shall we all go and get ready? Training? No, it's not. No, no, it'll be alright. Go on. Training? It'll be fine. Let me do that. Charlie Jemima wants you. Can I nip Charlie's seat or...? Yeah, yeah. go for it. Subtle. Might as well. Come here. Might as well. <sighs> Is it weird that for my wedding I've already thought about what I want? Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like? I know I know the girls are meant to do most of the planning, but I've already thought about the stuff. I want a big white wedding, countryside. And you can do your little wave. Mm. OK, that's the So point. Dexter and then, and then you. Oh, hello. We all need to hang out in the bedroom or the dream house. I need to get him out. Oh, shit. I just twisted my ankle. Oh, okay. you're right. Oh, Jack. Jack. Yeah. Can you just come help me with a blanket? I was just going to get... I'm yeah, just she's just off, done something to her ankle. Can you... Shit. Here you are. I'll get the door. 
We think Jamal has twisted her ankle. Well, Why? Who? Jeb. Who's after you? Gina. Yeah. And then Hazel. Oh. oh, I really do. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, I've got a wedgie. Go now, go now, go now. Go. They're gonna know it's me, girl. <laughs> oh my god, it's empty in here. Oh my god. No, they get. They're talking. She's talking. She's just going up to talk to him in the treehouse. She's gonna bitch about everyone. That's <sighs> god. Well, I think like I can. I know I can be myself around you guys, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean, like, we kind of connect more than anyone else at the house, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Don't you start telling me Stop what off. to do. Oi, what's your Get mouth, lost. boy? Get lost. Oh, it's getting hot in. And housemates safely hidden, it just leaves Sophie and Wolfie to go. Oh, have you made them each one? Yeah, I made you one. Wow. There's only a little bit in there because obviously oh, everyone fair. had to have some. But... Do you not want it? No, no. There's some down there. Um... No, I've got this one. I'm going to get one, but yeah. Oh, thanks, Sophie. Thanks, Sophie. Sweet sweet you so fucking sweet. No, no, I've got this paper. But yeah, like, she'll do well. Yeah, and I really hope. Yeah, I kind of think she might be fine all week. Just Wolfie, nah. Oh, hang on a minute. What? It's raining. Yeah, sir. I haven't put all my shirts in. I'll be back up. Joe, I thought someone Joe. just got murdered and slaughtered on the fucking grass. My clothes. I'll be back up. Jump it. Run, fatty, run! <laughs> oh, your clothes are getting wet! Run, it. run back, fatty, <laughs> run! Run, run! run. Run! Run, guys, run! And then just chuck them on my bed. Yeah, you think you can throw them? Oh, fuck! Ha, 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 Come on, kids! Oh, it sounded like he was having a shit. I'm gonna leave it like that. Oh, you know, it's been a long time since one of them. Since what? A physical exertion? <laughs> no, since I've had a shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about shit, so I'm going to need to go for a shit in a minute. Right. Stay here. Yeah, I'm going to go for a shit in a minute. Right. Stay here. Yeah, I'm going to Love it, love it, love it, love everything about it. Poo time! Oh. <laughs> you ever seen a lesbian run? <laughs> <laughs> Middleton might have given birth. No, she wouldn't have given birth yet. It's Mum's birthday. I know. Okay, I'm a bit bored now. Oh, she said a quick poo. Well, I might go downstairs and get bored of this. Yeah, but I'm. Who is everyone? Where the fuck is everyone? Where is everyone? Is that under the bedroom having a chat? Is this a joke? Do you think they're the They've mugged us off, didn't they? Who? Wolfie, this was all a ploy, wasn't it? Really? Well, where the hell is everyone? What the hell is going on? I thought no one was in here. I wondered why no one went to the toilet. So all the housemates have successfully hidden from Jack and Joe. Big brother, you having a laugh? Are you taking the mic? And the dramatic, triumphant, earth-shattering reunion is only seconds away.
They're all in the store. Yay! Yay! I don't know what's more worrying. The fact that twins said no, so the whole house disappear, or Wolfie running through the garden shouting, Good time! So, tonight, either Dexter or Jemima will be out of that house and on their way home. But who should we be booking a cab for? You decide. Remember, you are voting to evict. To evict Dexter from a landline call 090 5805 Or from a mobile 650-5805. To evict Jemima from a landline call 090 5810 Or from a mobile 650-5810. Mobile or BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes later in the show. Please do not try to vote if you're watching Channel 5 Plus One or On Demand. And for full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash BB vote. Still to come, we have got more action from the house. Plus, it's home time for either Dexter or Jemima. We'll see you in a bit. Tonight, Dexter and Jemima run the risk of never making it to third base. Who will be the second person to be dumped from the Big Brother loving? You decide. Remember, you are voting to evict. To evict Dexter from a landline call 090 2050 5805. Or from a mobile 650 5805. To evict Jemima from a landline call 090 2050 5810. Or from a mobile 650-5810. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes later in the show. Please do not try to vote if you're watching Channel 5 Plus One or On Demand. And for full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash BB vote. Right, back to yesterday. And only two weeks in, Callum just can't keep his little hands off Charlie. <laughs> Seven fifty six PM. Right, no, right, how long can you go? What's up? Oh, no, I'll beat you up, go ahead. We're so comfortable. How long can you go? Shut your eyes. Don't move. Right, here we go. Ready? Don't smile. Don't move. Ready? Mm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Here it comes. Oh. Don't smile. Ah, you're making me laugh. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, Jemima is talking to Big Brother. I don't want to go. I'm not thinking. I always try and think really positively. So, obviously, I'm just thinking positively. But I stay because I really want to show, you know, more of me. Obviously, it's difficult when you've got other personalities in the house that's maybe stronger than you. But I want to get to know a few more people better. And I know if a couple of people don't want me to go... And that I've grown close to, so I really don't want to go tomorrow. Please, let me in. Dexter is reassuring Hazel about her weight. I wouldn't worry about it. You're gonna, you'll lose it really quickly, Hazel, honestly. I need to lose it before I get out. You will do, though. So, I don't know, it just crapped on out of nowhere. I'd lost loads of weight in the first three or four days. Like, not being funny, but my boobs go up and down with my weight. And I remember putting on my bikini and being like, oh, they seem smaller than usual. And then I went out this morning to the shower and I was falling out the side of it. And I was like, mm. oh, that's how I judge my weight. My boobs go up and down. And I hate to be one of these girls that are like, oh, I'm not being like that. I'm just saying just for my own career. Yeah, no, it makes sense. And it's yeah, look, you are your business, the same mm. as me. So obviously I'm not going to go in here and do anything that's going to damage yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to walk out that door. I need to be ready to go back, straight back to work. You're not your business, though, are you? No. So your, your whole life is your business? Yeah, absolutely. Is it? Yeah, yeah. If she doesn't sell photos, then she doesn't make money. No, I sell my photos to the papers as a living. Like, mm. It's my job. Yeah, I know, but like, I don't get what that means. Though you are your business. My image like... is my business. If my if I put on a stone or I change my image in any way to what you see in a picture, mm. I'm but not you... my business. My business has gone faulty. 
Because you're not, you're not, you don't. You, like, not, yeah. you have to be what you sell. Yeah, and it's like stocks and shares. Because she's in here, she'll come out, and the stocks are high. Yeah. So, so if she's not on point, for a very limited time. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. she's not on point, then she's not going to make money. No. Mm. Nine thirty-one p.m. Dexter is in the diary room. Yes, I had ten votes, but I haven't sort of pissed anybody off enough to warrant going, you know, like I haven't been as con controversial or confrontational as as Jem and I feel that I really need a little bit more sort of time in here to sort of finish my personal journey but if, 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 if tomorrow is, you know, the end of the chapter then tomorrow is the end of the chapter and it's just something that I've, that I've thoroughly enjoyed, I'm so happy that I, that, that I was a part of. Charlie is feeling a bit insecure. My jeans are so friggin' tight and I feel fat. Nothing oh my god. <laughs> it, right? I'm not being funny. You don't even know the meaning of that word. I just hate it when skinny girls say the fat. It's personal, it's all relative, Wolfie. It's personal things. Yeah, that's fair enough, but you've never you've never been fat in your life. I used to be a lot fatter than I am now. It's just, a lot fatter, it's, I'm what's not... that? Are you my size? Well, have you ever been my size, to be honest? No, not, no, um, exactly. no, 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 it's not, it's not about that, it's just, it's relative, isn't it? It's like, no, I personally it's feel not. in, it, it is, it's for not me... It's not fat isn't relative. Fat for me is anything above average, which is a size 14 in the UK. Are you a size 14? I you know have, been, I have been, of course I've been a 14. No, but you're not now. No, I'm not now, but it's not about that, <laughs> have you? Yeah, I put on three stone. Went up before my eating problem. Oh. Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I had it. Wolfie, it's not about that. It's about if I feel insecure within myself, I feel insecure with myself. It doesn't matter how big I am. If I feel like I'm feeling uncomfortable with myself, that is, that's relative to me. And it's not a comparison or anything like that. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I just, I don't feel comfortable in my own skin. But please don't use the word fat. Because that really grates on me, Charlie. You aren't fat. You aren't fat at all. I wake up to this every day. You don't. Just don't use the word fat. Fair enough if you feel uncomfortable, fair enough, but not fat. Fat is actually classified fat. Fat is cellulite. Right. Fat is above mm. average weight. Fat is know. what is attached to you. It's not muscle. It's not anything else. It's fat. It's really hard, Wolfie. Isn't it? It's just went off of one at me. <laughs> Yeah, I, I changed and someone said, are you get, are you, oh, Callum said, are you you're getting comfy? I said, yeah, I'm getting comfy because I didn't feel com comfortable in my clothes, wearing. I felt fat. And Wolfie just went, do you Went not? on one? Yeah. How dare you, yeah, not a day on my foot. Yeah, I was sort of trying to hide it under here. This, do you remember the point I was making at her earlier? I was standing with Sophie and Dexter and I was saying, I'm not trying to go on, but if a girl feels uncomfortable, she feels uncomfortable and that's so I tried fair to say to not. She's got... No, I know, I know. Sorry. Personal issues, that's all. Oh, no, 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 no,
Now, you at home have been tweeting in your thoughts. Hayley Marshall said, I think Dexter should go tonight. He brings nothing to the house. Jemima is an attention seeker, but at least she makes drama for us viewers. Anna Ed said, Dexter should go. What a misery. We want fun housemates. Sophie said, Jemima needs to go. Her sense of humour is worse than my mum's morning breath. What? And Lauren Dion Millard said, Jemima should go because everything is always about her. No one can even speak without her interrupting, and I would not miss that voice. So excellent arguments, I think, for both sides, but it is down to you to make the call. Remember, you are voting to evict, to evict Dexter from a landline call 090 2050 5805, or from a mobile 650 5805. To evict Jemima from a landline call 090 2050 5810, or from a mobile 650 5810. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes later in the show. Please do not try to vote if you're watching Channel 5 Plus 1 or On Demand. And for full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash BB votes. OK, we'll be back in a few minutes with more from the house and the second live eviction. Don't go anywhere. live eviction of the series shortly the voting lines will close so if you don't want to be sat at home in a few minutes shouting at the telly because you think the wrong person has been booted out then you need to get involved remember you are voting to evict to evict Dexter from a landline call 090 2050 5805 or from a mobile 650 5805 to evict Jemima from a landline call 090 2050 5810 or from a mobile 650 5810. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes later in the show. Please do not try to vote if you're watching Channel 5 Plus One or On Demand. And for full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash BB vote. Now, back to yesterday and a lesson for us all you should never use the f word in public Ten forty p.m wolfie is not happy really pissed off um i feel that people's insecurities are actually affecting other members of the house um Charlie and Hazel have dropped what I call the F-bomb a couple of times today, which is the fat word. People use the term fat so loosely and think it has no fucking consequences. And then to say something as stupid as the term fat is relative, is it fuck, mate? Insecurity is relative, not fat. <sighs> She's always mouthing off. She says the wrong thing at the wrong time every fucking day at least once to someone and it is grating on me and and keep dropping the f-bomb you know in front of people who are larger you know what i mean and i ain't i'm not insecure i know i'm fat you know classified overweight yeah you know to say oh i might have put on a bit of weight that's fair enough but to say that you are physically fat is a is a mind fuck big brother honestly Gina is comforting Charlie. What I wanted to speak to you about is I just wanted to say to you, um, I love you both, and I'm not getting involved because it's nothing big anyway, but mm. I just really, really think, and what I just said to um, Wolfie is you should both just have a one-to-one -one chat because I think that you're both a bit misconstrued about how the other one's feeling, mm. and it's nothing big, it's just, you know, I think you should just have a chat. It'll be fine. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, no, I would. I'd, I'd, I'd definitely have a chat with her. I, yeah. I definitely, of course, I'll have a chat with her. Yeah. I just thought that myself. I thought, hey, this is not what I want to. This is not what I want to do. Be speaking to other people about it, and not her. Yeah. I she just said, thought that to myself. She said because I said to her, why but you equally, have a chat? when I've tried to speak, when I have tried to make an effort, obviously she has shot me down. So I did feel like I had no choice but to not speak to her. 
It's just like, everyone just has to go, oh, is everyone all right all the time? Why can't everyone just fucking get on with things? Oh, God's sake. I know, sake. what's going on tonight? Oh, don't know. It should be me and Dexter crying in number pillows. Charlie and Hazel gone to have a chat, so Jackie has to go and join in. Now Callum has to go, and now Gina has to go. They're all sitting around having a chat about the same thing. Why can't they just all leave people? Charlie, Charlie apparently walked into the bedroom earlier and said, oh, I feel fat or something, and then Wolfie flew off the handle. Oh, is that what it was? Why do people like Callum have to all get involved? Why can't Gina, why can't they just leave them? If they want to chat about it, let them chat about it. And I just said they're not, them two aren't fat people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, cos... Yeah. No, because they all need to get involved and go, are you all right? Are you all right? Are you please all right? Can I stroke you a little bit? God. Eleven twenty two PM Charlie wants a word with Wolfie. Wolfie, will you just let me know when you want a little chat because I'd like to have a little one. I'm not gonna lie. Probably like to leave it till tomorrow. Yeah, I've no, had a bit of champagne. I'm, I'm literally just it is, Just know? say yeah, just say if you want yeah, it'd be nice to have a little one on one tomorrow. Yeah, leave it till well, tomorrow. With clarity. You have know, a bit of sleep. Which fucking fuels the yeah, fire, yeah. you know. Okay, cool. All right. So. Oh yeah. Jack and Joe are talking to Big Brother. The tension in this house. Oh, fuck. Shakespeare's, not that I studied it, much, much to do, do about, about nothing, nothing came oh. into play. Christ, how many arguments party. over crap? I mean, the whole thing has just been a pile of jank. It's someone's last day and everyone's sort of sitting there like, <laughs> everything's wrong with me. One and person, thing, really what gonna... happens is somebody walks into one room, then everyone swarms into that yeah. room. Then that one person that walked into the room leaves the room. Then they all look around five minutes later and go, oh, they've left the room. The worst bit is, right, <laughs> one person sitting alone or two people are confronting you, not confronting each other, like w working their issues out. And even has to go up and bum lick him and be like, oh, are you all right? Are you feeling okay? Fuck off and let him deal with it himself. Jack language. Oh, yeah. Oh, and good. you've got this hair on your mouth. Come here. No. Is it? Oh, jeez. We love you, Dexter. We do. You know, it's, this, a lot of this house as well is about a lot of people judge people. Mm. I bet no one fucking knows, right, what me and him have got planned on the outside. He's one person I want to be fucking friends with, even though fucking a lot of people think he's fucking, like, hate him or my, whatever. People, people don't like Dexter. What would you get? Ten? But Dexter knows the school with me. Hey, don't you? I do, but I'll openly admit in present company... Go on. No, you, you... You just need... You need to be careful over the next... Really? Week or so. Shit. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> all right. Just, just assess the situation, because I, I, I think deep down inside, obviously, you're, you're a really nice person, but mm. I think sometimes, because you are nice to everybody, sometimes it, it, it's, it might look a little bit contrived sometimes. That's the thing. I didn't really? see it. I didn't see it first, but now I'm starting really? to sort of, I'm just get picking well, up with vibes. with me? I'm, I'm just picking up vibes. Oh. Sorry if it's hitting the home Mate, it's not. Home you can say whatever just, you want. You can say whatever you want. You know, I want to give everyone a present if I am going, but, and yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Contrived? Me being too nice? Almost. Chasing people around, wiping asses. Really? That's, I'm, I appreciate I'm, the not, I'm not saying in a bad way, and please, please, feedback. please don't take it like that. Mate, I'm not, I wouldn't. I appreciate the feedback, but I won't be chasing people around. I'm just, I'm just helping you out because you were there for me, that's all. But don't just drastically, you know, no, go no, yeah. from one extreme Why? to the other now. Why? Fuck them. No, 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 no. Remember what I said. If I want to see a bad guy in here, I'll be a bad guy. No, no, no. It is about that. Tell him, listen to me. I know, I know. I'm being extreme. Listen, I won't just drop it like it's hot. Go ask him. One thirteen a.m. Hazel and Dearly are sharing a quiet moment. You know when you want to say certain things, but you can't in this house? Huh? You know when you want to say certain things, but you can't in this house? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you know what I'm... Uh... About... Go on. <laughs> Come here. Or... <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you know, no, it's just, you know, when you, like... You know, something you want to know, yeah. but you don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I could have said. You can't know. Yeah, but no one. Damn, I didn't get a note. Yeah, that's going to really annoy me. It's going to really <laughs> annoy me because I said something, I'll be thinking about it. 
It could be Jemima's last night and she wants to go out with a bang. Wake up! Wake up! Oh, <laughs> Wake up! I don't like it. Wake up! Ah, oh, Finn, I'm tired. Oh, oh, fun. Oh, fed up. <laughs> Wake up, it's my last night. It could be my last night. Wake up. Still don't have a clue what you're saying. You can hear what I'm saying. Bullshit. No bullshit. Callum is talking to Big Brother about Dexter's earlier comments. I offer nothing to prove to them people. They will all see whatever box they're in for me, whatever box I'm in for them, they will all see when they get out that I've not been a prick. I've not been um, out of order. I've been myself. I've come in here. I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a Jack the Lad with a big smile, and behind the closed doors, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just a lad just trying to prove himself and have fun along the way. Genuinely, just grasp it. Bridges have, haven't just been fucking broken down tonight. Relationship-based bridges. Bridges have been burnt and bridges have been thrown in the river and they've washed away. There's no reason for me to stay. There's no benefit to it. So, you know, is there a way in which I can leave tomorrow? I'm not trying to fuck up things. I've got a business mind. I've got, you know, I, I've dealt with businesses and I've run business. I've run businesses and I've I've been a business consultant, you know, within a bank. From a business point of view, I'm not trying to shaft you. Is there a way I can leave tomorrow? Always in these situations, Big Brother says, "Get a good night's sleep." And Big Brother's always here to talk in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning, BB. Charlie is reflecting on the Deer's events. Right, I'm going to be myself. Because mm. I refuse to not be myself because I'm in here, I'm here, you know, to be myself. Mm. But equally, I'm not going to be so myself that I shoot myself in the foot because yeah. clearly that gets me in trouble and it will actually ruin my experience to the point where then I can't be myself at all. Because yeah. it will lose my confidence or I'll feel I can't be myself around everyone because I've pissed them off. Well, you see, the, the... So there's a... You, yeah. So I need to get that control so I can feel comfortable with people mm. and not st overstep the line and do this to someone and cause that argument but mm -hmm. yeah have that element of of being half myself as well so at the end of the day what you have to remember in here would you like to be on the game show called big brother game show yeah it's not real life it's not about being you it's about playing a game you don't have to have a game plan but you have to play the game which yeah. means you have to play the people mm. like you see the way you tried to come out to, to wolfie out here she doesn't really want to resolve with you tonight because mm -hmm. she's getting a lot of attention for it and it's probably mm. working in her favour and there's a few brownie points getting ticked up and poor Wolfie and you know what I mean mm. that's how some people operate yeah and you have to understand that some mm. people operate by being a victim mm. and it is tough because I know you need to speak and you mm. need to get it off your chest and you need to in. but at the end suck of the day this is not forever and if you walk out the door and you never want to see a face in that room again you you'll to. be laughing mm. out the door good luck see you later you losers <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't even fucking remember your name in two months' time. So, now we all know you cannot use the F-bomb around Wolfie or apologise if she's drinking champagne. Have you got that? Good. The vote lines for tonight's eviction are now closed. <laughs> Please do not call as your vote won't be counted and you may still be charged. After the break, I'll be delivering the results live to the house and either Dexter or Jemima will be released to be back into the wild. Don't go change it. to Big Brother and it's live eviction number two. Tonight either Dexter or Jemima will be leaving the Big Brother house. You have been voting since Monday and the results are in. It's time to talk to the house. This is Emma. Dexter. 
Lisa. Jemima. The viewers have spoken. Your fate is sealed. For the last five days, the British public have been voting to evict. And I can now reveal the housemate with the most votes and second to be evicted is... Jemima. <laughs> Jemima, you have lost your place in the Big Brother house. You have 30 seconds to say your goodbyes. Oh, Jen, I'm going to starve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've instantly lost two stone thinking about you leaving. <laughs> <laughs> you look gorgeous. You look like a superstar. Thank you. 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 Thank well done, you can pass it. Jemima, you have been evicted. I hope we should have come off. Oh, bye bye, Jim. Big smile, big smile, Jim. Big smile, Jim. I'm going to see my family. Yeah, you are ready. Jemima, you have been evicted. Please leave the big brother house. We do, oh, Jen, we love you. Get up, my girl. decided that the party was over for our hot pants honey and I'm joined by our newest evictee Jemima okay let's shut them out for a yes. little while Bye -bye. Um, Good but quite a big reaction from the crowd this evening I and know. when we walked in you, you you looked really kind of shocked and taken aback by it so do you have any idea why the reaction is like that. Not really that many boos. I didn't think I would get that many boos. Most of the housemates didn't actually think I was going to go tonight. They really thought Dexter was, because a lot of them sort of sided with me more yeah. on, you know, personality-wise and getting on with me. I know the twins are going to miss my cooking. They already said they've lost weight. I think a lot of people are going to miss your cooking. 
Sorry? I think a lot of people will miss your I cooking. I loved cooking in the house, especially with the, what we had, the ingredients we had. You know, I didn't realise I could do so many different dishes. And um, we've just seen quite an emotional response from Dexter as well there at staying. Yeah. Do you think that's really... genuine? Is he really that shocked? Yeah, he really thought he was going tonight. Everybody did. I think only a couple of people thought he would stay. Most of the housemates had a feeling I would stay. OK. Um, and they wanted me. Most of them wanted me to stay as well. Um, you only received five nominations this week, yeah, which isn't very much, especially compared to Dexter, who had ten. Yeah. Um, so what do you think their reasons were for nominating you? Um, I think some people found me a bit controlling in the house, but they aired their views. Yeah. Um, some people hid sort of how they felt as well. To, you know, there's a lot of gossiping. Obviously, you're in a really... <laughs> really close environment and I could never explain being in the house. It's very up and down, it's a real roller coaster. The days I love that you've so... said roller coaster two minutes into the interview, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it is though, the days are so long. It's a pressure cooker. It really, you know, you don't get on well with some person one day and then the next day you're talking and, you know, nobody sort of really holds grudges but it really is, the days are so, so long yeah. and because it's such an intense environment, you know, you're all literally living out of each other's pockets. You can't sort of fart without no one knowing about Would it. Would you, know? you like to see your nominations? Would I? Yeah. Not really. I what are you going guess. to? <laughs> I can probably guess. My first nomination is... Jemima. 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 Je, je, jem, Jemima. We had an explosive argument and she had no interest in getting to know me. So I think she makes Sam feel uncomfortable. Um, I know that he looks at her as a mother figure. I don't know if she's interested in Sam in a different way other than kind of, other than friendship, but she, I think he, she makes him feel uncomfortable. She's always looking over your shoulder to see what's happening, if she can stick her two pence in. I've seen a couple of things where, you know, when someone's trying to tell her something, but it's like it goes in one ear and out the other ear, and then it all comes back to her. Really? Yeah, Daly really surprised me, and actually Charlie really surprised me. Have any so of those... You said that uh, today they've been saying that, you know, they, they thought and hoped that you would stay and they thought Dexter would go. Yeah. Is any of those people that nominated you saying that today? Uh, Charlie has always had... We've always had really good chats, and Charlie's got quite upset and emotional in the house. And, uh, and she, you know, we've, re we've really had quite intimate chats together about you know, her relationship and about, you know, the way she feels and her personal journey in the house, so, yeah. and why she's gone in there. So I'm quite surprised about Charlie, really, I am. OK, um, Gina... And Daly I got on really well with, so... Andrew, sorry? Daly I got on yeah. really well with, so I'm really surprised, but he seemed to side a bit more with Dexter today. He's probably the only one that's really sided with Dexter so much. OK, uh, what, Jean, what are Jesus' reasons uh, for nominating you? Was, uh, she said that you were sucking up to her and you were fake. That's what I said about her in my nomination. <laughs> <laughs> so we obviously both felt the same. But Gina Did really you, didn't you know how to take it. Did you feel you were doing that to her? Not at all, no. Not at all. And are you surprised that she said something like that? Yeah, well, we obviously feel quite mutual about each other because I said the same in my nomination. <laughs> I thought she was fake because I think of all the people... <laughs> um, of, uh, all the, of all the people that are in there, she least was enjoying it the most and le least didn't need to be there. She sort of, you know, she was, and she was nominated last week, and then she got a lot of votes again this week. She's kind of really turned it around with the audience, though. But she, um, she really has. She's, you see, I don't. I mean, I yeah, don't know what, yeah, you, what everyone's you, been you, watching. You, you don't know that. But um, when she's in there, she just, you know, I don't know if she, you know, she's promised Wolfie quite a lot of things, and I just hope she really comes through with it. Okay. Because um, Wolfie would be really upset. You know, and I don't know if she's trying to gain friends. I think friends. she's quite genuine as far as Wolfie's concerned. Wolfie sees it like that, but I'm, you know, I'm not too sure really. I did say she seems to be from what from from what we've seen. Um, some of the housemates did find you too controlling, oh, and, you, yeah, and you did I mention that, that yeah. you thought that that would be um, uh, part of the reason why they nominated you. Do you wish that you'd maybe toned it down a little bit? Probably a bit now that yeah, and I'm sure when I watch it back, I'll probably be like going like that a lot of the time, but. Um, you know, they told me that, and I knew that was one of, 
you know, that's probably why I got chosen anyway, to go in the house in the first place. Obviously, all the characters well, we like are really... feisty people. <laughs> and you can certainly be feisty, <laughs> Jemima. Um, one person in particular uh, you got quite heated with in the house. Would you like to take a look? Oh, God. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that sometimes in the kitchen you don't say please and thank you. What, every time I get an item or someone does something? Or... Just to say thanks, yeah. I did not want that on me. I'm the fucking most hygienic person in here. And actually, I don't think you're really fair to say you're the most hygienic person yeah, here. No, it's bollocks. Dan is fucking two-faced. Did you call me a two-faced? Okay. Yeah, I did. Why did you do it after I'd gone in there then? That's two-faced when I'm in the fucking room. I would say it to you. Oh, listen to you. It's all about you. It is. Come it's come really fucking is. I don't think Jackie can be criticised for protecting Charlie because they're in I'm the house together. I'm not criticising her. I was just making an opinion. To because be you're bringing it up with Charlie again. I don't think How it's necessary. I'm not bringing it up. She was I've been speaking to Jackie and Jackie's I'm upset. I'm like Dan. Charlie was the one that just brought it up. I just said to you. Apologise. You just said, and you don't need to, Charlie, because at the yeah, end of the day, I'm a mother too. That's why you should understand where Jackie comes from, though, I think. Oh, I fucking did! Otherwise, you I'd be still going no, on about it, didn't. Dad! She doesn't see, still, where she went wrong last night. She doesn't see it at all. He hasn't even apologised, because he doesn't feel he's in the wrong. So, why didn't you and Dan see eye to eye? Because you did seem to butt heads quite a few times in the house. I think both our personalities are really strong and our characters are really strong. And, uh we actually had this bit of a love-hate relationship, really, because obviously what you don't see is us making up afterwards, and we would always, the next day, be absolutely fine to each other, and we both admitted to each other how we felt. Yeah. But, you know, I think, you know, I felt in the beginning that he was quite two-faced because he would say things, you know, and then he'd, he'd sort of go and, and say something to someone else. But, I mean, we... He does seem to be quite open about what he yeah, says. Yeah, no, he I'm, seem to say you know, he is probably, at least he sort of speaks his mind of, of how, you know, how he, how he was feeling and what he thought of me. I'd rather that than, yeah. you know, the people be gossiping yeah. behind Do you behind feel your back. like he's kind of the house leader? Yeah. Mm. Well, how does it feel when you're in there with him? Because we're um, kind of seeing it, he's, he's quite, you know... He does, he does sort of, there. he does go between everybody and sort of talk... To each person or each Does group. Does he have a big influence? Uh, I don't. I don't know really. I don't know if he has a big influence on people's decisions, but and sort of the, their their opinions so much. But did you feel like you fit in? Did you feel like you had a role? Did you think going in there maybe you would be kind of the house mother, and then Jackie kind of took that? And did you kind of feel like you weren't really the big sister? You weren't really the mum? Yeah. You were kind of stuck in. To be honest, no you know the way that I felt when I went in is totally not how I. I, I, when I was in there, how I was perce perceived at all. Because the thing is, is you've got so many other strong characters around you. Like, I'm so much wittier and funnier and entertaining. And I wasn't able to, to show that because the twins obviously took over the funny role. And then you say, like, Jackie took over sort of the, more the mother role. You but still me, can me do and Jackie. That, though, just because there are people there that are fulfilling certain roles that you think. You still can give that side of your personality. Yeah, but when you're, when you're actually in that, I mean, it's difficult to explain until you're actually in that environment, and then you've got other people reacting differently to you, and then you maybe might hold back slightly, or you may say something else, you know, that they don't like or comes across in the wrong way. And, okay. you know, it's, it's, ju it's just so intense. I really couldn't explain it. OK, listen, we're running than... out of time, but I have to ask, did you fancy Sam? Not at all. Really? Because on that we, first night, we, we I thought that you no, were going to have a proper smooch. You know, no, definitely not. We clicked. On a, I get, I've got a lot of male friends on the outside, and we clicked really on so the did first you fancy night. Him just a little bit. Not at all. We were. He was like a boy mate, and I really saw him as a boy mate. And then, sort of things came out today that has made me think. Oh, he perceived it in a different way. Because I, I really am so huggy, friendly to all my boy mates on the outside, and I just saw him as just a really good mate. We him. believe you, but thousands wouldn't. Jemima, really? Thank you so oh my God! <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Here are your best bits. Thank you. It's Jemima. Hi, how are you, Jemima? You right? Hello. I will be obviously sharing in my bikini every day then. Are you quite a sexually charged person? <laughs>
I don't normally have a problem with things rising. Give me more. Too hard. Too hard. You think you're quite an intense lover. He ain't gonna get it in. You need to respect yourself, Mom. She's a 41 year old woman, like, do you know what I mean? Let her get on with it. You're 41 years old. I don't have an act attitude. like it, darling. You clearly have no class. Sorry? You clearly have no class. Do not and the thing is, me. I thought to myself. Do not disrespect I me. I think she makes Sam feel very uncomfortable sometimes. Jemima is far too bossy in the kitchen and never says please, would you? You don't say please and thank you. I'm fucking two faced. At the end of the day, I'm the one that's up for fucking nomination. I should be the one that's upset and pissed off. Yeah, of course. Well, fuck off then. Looking a bit sexy, blimey. She's nice and she's a cute lady. She's a classy lady. <laughs> she's giving, you know, she's knocking herself out in, in the kitchen. Oh shit! I think she tried to pass it off as like flambe in it, but it was just like, yeah, it was it was really no one. I'm a clean girl. No, I don't need getting any ideas. I, I might never see I you again. I don't see you. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would do it again, 100%. I might do things a bit differently, but I would do it again. Jemima, thank you so, so much. Jemima, everybody. Thank you. remaining housemates. Will Detective Dan try to crack a new case? Will Callum finally have a little smooch with Charlie Travers? Will Wolfie ever change that bandana? We'll have to wait and see. Up next, it's Bit on the Side with AJ and Ryman. How's it going, Dan? We can't wait to get you down here. Stay tuned because we will be grilling the second evictee, Jemima. We can't wait. Um, I'll see you in a bit. See you in a mwah. bit. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See you in a bit. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So they're going to be followed by live streaming. And if you want even more, then head to the website for the latest news, channel5.com forward slash big brother. The highlight show will be back tomorrow at a slightly earlier time of 8.45. And don't forget, every Monday and Wednesday... We go live to the house during the main show. And this Monday, it's only face-to-face -face nominations. You don't want to miss that. Uh, I'll be back on this stage for the third live eviction next Friday. Thank you very much and have a wonderful night. I don't know what to do. <laughs>